Step 1. Click on the billing option in the navigation menu and then select the Create Single Invoice option. Step 2. Select the customer from the customer menu. The third step is to update the invoice date, due date, invoice number, and the reference and tax treatment as required. The tax treatment determines how the tax will be calculated on the invoice. You can set the default value for this field in your account settings. Step 4. Choose an item to add to the invoice. There are three types of items that you can add to an invoice. Charges, packages, and lessons. The first item is adding a charge. To add a charge, select the Add Charge option and click the Go button. A row will be added to the invoices where you can enter the details for the charge. If you need to remove a row, click the X icon next to that row. The second item you can add to an invoice are lessons. To add lessons to an invoice, select the Add Lessons option. Fields for the start and end dates will appear. Select the date range of the lessons to add them to the invoice. When you click the Go button, any uninvoiced lessons within the date range you've selected will be retrieved. You can edit these as required. Step 5. The invoice total will be calculated based on what you add to the invoice. Make sure everything is correct. You can adjust the sales tax rate on the invoice, otherwise the default value set in your account settings will be used. Step 6. Add invoice instructions. If you've added this in your account settings, they will be pre-filled. Step 7. To send the invoice directly to your client, select a Send Invoice Email checkbox. The email will only be sent out if the Approve option is being selected. Step 8. Save or approve the invoice. If the invoice is saved, it will not be visible to your clients. After you've created a single invoice, it will be directed to the page that displays that invoice. You can speed up the invoicing process by creating multiple invoices at once. To do this, go to Billing, Create Multiple Invoices, and follow the same steps you did when creating a single invoice. Add all of the relevant customers by clicking on the Customers field and then selecting them from the list, or you can select all your customers at once by clicking on the Select All link. If you're adding lessons to the invoice, they will not appear on the screen you're working on because you're creating multiple invoices at the same time. If you would like to review the invoices before sending them to your clients, select the Save option. Use the checkboxes on the left hand side to select the relevant invoices and choose to approve or approve and send them.